What's Gucci everyone? It's AJ here and today I want to talk about B plus trees. Like you know you get a B, a B plus, or an A minus. It's right between that B and A minus range. Gosh I need to think of better openings or funnier things to say during these videos. But what a B plus tree is, is it's kind of like a BST BST tree, but it has a few rules. And before I get into insertion, deletion, and finding, I guess I'll go through the rules. And the first rule is that one is that all data, all data is stored at the leaf nodes. And I really could hurry this up. And so you'll see that. So unlike, so in a B plus tree, all data is stored at the leaf nodes. So that means any intermediate nodes, any um, parent nodes, are simply just decision markers to go down to the leaf nodes. And two, um, every kind of every. Let me say this: um, every leaf is at the same level. So the tree is always kind of equal. Is um equalized it always is at the same level so every leaf node is at the same level the same level and also I guess three I'll mention is that one thing I can do is that I could say every leaf is at the same level man this is crooked I can't even write straight so every leaf is at the same level and um all leaf all leaf nodes um, have links to other leaf nodes, and I'll show you what that means in a second. Have links to other leaf nodes. Okay, so those are the three rules, and so all data is stored in the leaf nodes. Every leaf is at the same level. All data have links to each other. So now I'm going to delete that all. And I'm gonna make a little. I'm gonna draw a quick example, and then hopefully show you guys a better example. So let's say I, I have a B plus tree. Now all B plus trees are gonna have a threshold, and what this means is it means how many elements can fit inside can um, a leaf node hold. So I can call this threshold M. But let's say let's call this you know um, let's call this two right here. Let's just make it two. And so I'm going to say, okay, each leaf node has a threshold of M. And I'm going to start off here. I've got my root. And again, a big arrow here. And so I'm going to add 50 here to my root. And nothing is going to change. And simply, that's going to be, you know, that's going to be my um, 50. That's going to be my 50. And, th and then I'm going to add, let's just say I'm going to add 75. So I have 75 and 50 in this root node. And that's perfectly dandy. But what really, when things really start kind of happening is when I add 100. So then when I add 100 here, when I want to add 100, things are going to change because this node can only hold two, two integers or two elements as dictated by M. So what happens is this needs to split. So the next step, so this is the first part of the tree, and then this is going to be the second part of the tree. I need What I need to do is I need to bring down 50, 75, 100 and bring up a splitter. So again, I need to contain all the data of 50, 75, and 100 into my leaves, but I need, but I also need a splitter. I need something that dictates, since I'll start searching at my root, which way to go to find something. So for instance, let's say I split, I'll split them up, and you can do this um, pretty evenly, because um, if there's an odd amount, you have to, um, you know, there's going to be an uneven split, because it's odd, duh. And so I can split them, and I can say, okay, 50 is going to go to the right here, because it's less than, and then I'm going to make a bigger note, and then this this node is going to have 75, and that's going to contain the 100. And I'm going to bring, I'm going to split and bring the 75 up, and that's going to be my splitter. And so now my tree, again, all these these nodes right here are the data. This is the data, and 75 is just a marker. So it's a way of indicating, you know, which way to go. So, for instance, I can say, okay, so now if I start looking for my tree, I go to 75 and I go, okay, is 70, am I searching for something greater than or less than 75? If it's greater than, I go to the right, just like a binary search tree. If it's less, I go to the left, just like it's, it's less. And so now also by creating this leaf, now that I have two leaves, I also kind of have like a linked list going on here. 
and so what I do is these leaf nodes have pointers to each other. And so what this allows me to do is one of the functionalities that B plus trees are really good for. And B plus trees are really good for range queries. And what range queries are is, you know, you need a range of something. So you need, you know, the data set of all the people, all the users from 12 to 17 so you can sell them kitty toys or sell them, you know, some really addictive snack that kids will fall for. And so that's what will happen here. So I can find, I can find all numbers between 60 and 200. And then so then I can go or let me do 40, 40 and 80. So then I'll, I can go, okay, I'm going to go left here at 50. So once I hit, you know, the number lowest to 40, which is 50, I can then keep going. I can keep going right and I can go, okay, I can go to the next leaf and then go, okay, 75 is still under 80. And then I can say, okay, 100 is still under, is not under. So then I'm done with my range query. And so that's the optimization of having all the leaf nodes on the same level, so the pointers work, and having them all have pointer back and forth pointers to each other, so then they can do a nice range query. I hope that was a good explanation for you. I'm going to end this tutorial here with a better example of what I kind of just showed you guys, and that's um, kind of this B plus tree real example. I'll include the link to this in a row, but I just asserted 50, and right now I will assert 75. And so now I've got... 50 and 75 and so now I'm going to insert 100 and so now when I inserted 100 as you can see here um, it ha it's exactly what I showed you is that 75 was brought up as the splitter and then 50, 50 now has a pointer to the next node and I've simply now made the leaves one level below. And what is really awesome with uh, B plus trees is they're used in databases because databases use range queries a lot and basically with this tree, you're going to have to have an optimal tree. You want a very full tree. And so to do that, this tree is going to try to kind of make everything. Is This tree is going to try to, you know, fill everything up before it goes another level down. It's going to try to make it as big as possible before it can, starts, you know, cascading things. For instance, you know, I can keep on adding numbers here. And... 110, odd 110, and as you can see here, it split off 110 because it noticed that that node was going to get too full, so it split them off, created a new node just for 75, and made a new splitter 100 because, you know, the maximum number of elements I can have, well, is 2, max degree of 3 here, so that means that the most I can have is 2, so again, I can only have 2 elements in each node. And so it has to split every time. But as you can see here, every time, only when every level is maxed out will it make a new row, will it make a new level for me to be able to go to. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video on B plus trees. Have a great day and have an A plus day, not a B plus. <laughs> have an A plus day, not a B plus day. Hi again, everyone. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys for liking, subscribing, and commenting on this video. If you want to watch more videos of the same category, you can click over here. And if you want to watch any new videos and learn something new, you can click over here. Have the best day of your life.